So in this video, I want to talk about the HTML5 audio player, which is deeply integrated into the system. So um, let's go to a portfolio item. I'm just going to go ahead and come to Dead Space 2 here. Okay. And uh, let's take a look at the audio player here. You get a play bar, which allows them to move forward and back throughout um, the tracks that are here. Get a download button, and you get the actual uh, link for... Okay, right there. When that link is is clicked, then it begins to play. Um, so it's a pretty direct. It's it's responsive in the fact that as you can see, as it moves, it, it is responsive. The player um, the player will adapt to different screen sizes. So how do we get this player in here, and how do we get songs into it? So let me go ahead and explain that. Let's go back here into the administrative interface, and we're going to come all the way down here, and you're going to see Revolution Slider and HTML5 Player Plus. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the first thing to the HTML5 player, which is the display settings. This allows you to turn your ratings on and off. This allows you to specify whether when things go, when uh, the page loads, you just automatically want it to play. Don't advise doing that, by the way. Um, you can have up to three buttons active for each song, um, and we've activated a download button to allow them to download. We're going to we've given it a yes to show the track list. As a matter of fact, because we do want to show we do want to show the track list. If we said no, then we wouldn't get a list of tracks. When they just hit play, they would hit play, and even if there was more than one track, they wouldn't they wouldn't see it. It would just play through those tracks. So um, number of tracks, this will only apply if show track is set to yes. Write zero to show all tracks. Okay, and what this is saying is, okay, if you only want to show, if on a playlist you have 25 tracks, but you only want to show 10 of them in the list, you can specify that here. If you leave it at zero, it will show all tracks, which is generally what most people want uh, the track list to do. Currency symbol, this is only valid if people um, are purchasing um, tracks off of your uh, off of your website, so it's not relevant here. Background color and text colors are defined right there. Down here in the next section, we have manage playlists, and playlists are important because playlists are what give us the short code um, to embed the audio player and they also allow us to put songs and divide songs into different playlists so we're not just jumbling all these songs together into one gigantic playlist or we don't have to go in and and once we embed that player then actually specify all the songs we want it to play we just create these playlists here and I'm going to take you through actually creating a new playlist I'm just going to click add new right here and I'm going to get this interface and so all it's going to ask me for is a playlist name and a description and so I'm going to give it test playlist and this is a test description. You want to keep your description rather short because it will show up in the player. Click Add Playlist. Okay, so we've added our playlist. Let's go back to Manage Playlists now. Now we'll see if we go all the way down. We have our last playlist, which is our test playlist that we just created. Okay, so over here we have edit and we have delete. We could delete the playlist we wanted to or we can edit the playlist. We're actually going to right click and I'm going to open up in a new tab the edit interface which will allow us to edit this but now if we go down here you're also going to see we have an area that's going to list songs but we don't have any songs here yet so we're going to add some new songs. Okay so I'm going to click on add new and it's going to give me this interface as you'll notice I don't have a way to upload any songs here. That's not what this interface does. You have to actually upload songs through the media Media library and I'm going to right click on this bring you into the media library right here okay and this is where you have pictures audio video doesn't matter um, if it's media and you're uploading it to WordPress this is where it uploads you want to come over here and click add new and then it's going to bring us to the to the now you can actually drag and drop files right on here okay you actually can do that or you can select files and go to them and I'm gonna go ahead and select files and uh, go to them so we're going to need to upload both um, an AUG and an MP3. So I'm going to select, click Select Files over here, and I'm going to come over here to the folder for Rob Mills and audio, and I'm just going to grab the first two things I see here. As you see, I have one file that's MP3, one file that's AUG. It'll take a minute to upload, and then once they've uploaded, then what we're going to do is we're actually going to get these file names, and we're actually going to place them in the file. Okay, so these have uploaded now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to Edit. I'm going to right-click on Edit, and I'm going to bring these both up. 
in a new window. And I'm actually only interested in one thing, and that's the file URL. You see our file type right here is MP3, this file URL. I'm going to select everything that's in there. You can do that by uh, quickly um, clicking three times. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put this into MP3 link. And I'm also going to put it down in button one link. Then I'm going to come over to the AUG file, one, two, or one, two, three, copy, come back over here and put it into the AUG link. Then I want the title, which I can get from either one. No need to type it in. Copy and paste it in there. And then for the artist, Rob Mills. Then you're going to want to paste in a cover image. And a cover image looks really nice. And you can do that once again through the media library. Once you've uploaded a cover image, you can come right here. For instance, uh, look at Dead Space 3. I'm going to click in there. Now I've got my file URL right over here. And I'm going to do the same thing with it. I'm just going to copy and I'm going to paste it into where it says a cover image. Now I'm going to come up here to playlist name and make sure. I'm on test playlist. Okay, Now I'm going to click add song. And it's going to go ahead and give me a little confirmation that said boom, new songs added. Now you notice it leaves everything here. Now if I was adding more than uh, one song to this playlist, I could leave the cover image, I could leave the artist, and all I would need to change are these things right up here. The playlist will stay the same. I'll just need to change the mp3 links, the song title, and the aug links. Now that I've done that, now I need to do something else. So let's get rid of all of this stuff that we've got up. We don't need this anymore. Now I need to do something else, is that I need to actually put this short code into a portfolio item. So I'm going to come over here to um, Portfolio and down, right click on Add New. I'm just going to bring that up in a new window. We are going to click on Swift Page Builder, get there, and we're going to come down to Template. I'm going to click on Custom Portfolio Template to put our portfolio template in there. And you see right down here in our tabs, you see Insert HTML5 Audio Player Shortcode in place of this text. Come up here to the pencil, click on that, and we're going to get rid of that, and we are going to paste in our shortcode that we got from, we're right here, we're under HTML5 Player, Manage Playlists. It's going to say the playlist name, they're right here, playlist name. Okay, it's going to give you the options to edit and to delete it. And then right here, it's going to give us the short code. And that short code is what we're going to put right in here. Don't have to be in the text. The WYSIWYG editor is fine. Don't have to be out of that. Click on save and then click publish. Now I haven't given this portfolio item a name. I haven't uh I haven't put a picture in here. I haven't done any of that stuff. I just wanted to show you the player. So click on view portfolio item. And now you see we have our HTML5 player with our alternating current. And now let me explain why we upload both AUG and MP3. I know you're kind of thinking, well, why not one or the other? That is because some browsers will play AUG files, but they won't play MP3. And some will play MP3, but they won't play AUG. And so we encode into both. Um, open source browsers such as Chrome, um, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, Chrome, Opera, and um, Firefox all play AUG. Um, and then Internet Explorer, Safari, um, they play MP3. So that's um, the, natively through the HTML5 audio player, which is what's being used here. It's, it's using the HTML5 audio tag to do this, which is what you want because that's, that's what, what everybody's going to be going to when it comes to audio. Um, but you do have to upload both AUG and MP3 files. Now, when encoding an AUG file, and you can use whatever you want to encode the AUG file. There's, there's a, you know, a bunch of programs out there. Um, you want to make sure that you're encoding it at pr a pretty high format. Um, the AUG Vorbis um, container and, and method of encoding its algorithms that they use to encode it is a lossy compression format. So if, for instance, you want to avoid um, an, turning an MP3 into an AUG file, if you do, you need to make that AUG file very, very high quality, which is what we've done here. To avoid a loss in quality, we made these AUG files at 500, uh, I believe it's kilobits a second. I, I don't exactly know. It was 500 kbps, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it is... Um, 
it's uh, it's it's a very high quality file and it avoided us um, losing any type of quality. And so you're going to want to do something similar. You want to play around with it. I'm sure as a sound engineer, you know how to do all that. You just want to play around with it until um, you've you've found some uh, until you found some type of encoding speed that that works for you and gets you the quality that you want in there. But you are going to want to um, encode in both AUG and MP3 and upload both for this particular system. If you have any more questions on the HTML5 audio player, if I missed anything, wasn't clear on anything, please just let me know. I'll be more than happy to come back and clarify anything you need. Thanks.